Kia ora team, Brad here from Everfit Physio and Coaching and I wanted to share with you some of my favourite stretches that is going to help not only treat plantar fasciitis but actually prevent it in the first place. Right, now let's go over some stretches that are going to really help the foot perform but more importantly stay injury free. So let's start with the calf complex. So to start with, that nice straight knee stretch for the gastroc. And you want to hold that for around 15 to 20 seconds times two to four and then celeus so bring it in a little bit and then bend the knee so that really works the deeper calf muscle now it's a really good idea to work on some of the strut muscles that come in on the side of the lower leg into the foot so first of all we want to move that foot in this celeus stretch position externally rotate it around 45 degrees and then stretch forward okay now that's going to work the perineal muscles a group of muscles that uh, originate on the outside of the lower leg and come down into the foot so you've got perineus longus and brevis so again holding that stretch for between 15 and 20 seconds times two to four and then for the tib post which is the muscles on the inside of the lower leg and they come down on the inside of that medial malleoli into the foot. So turning the foot out to 45 degrees and in that cilia stretch position, stretch. So you're going to really work the inside and outside lower leg muscles and they come in and help support the foot and help it perform in the way that it should. Now then you want to go on to the hamstring. So the hamstring muscle in the back of the leg. So I really like to stretch it with toes up towards me, knees slightly bent. That sort of takes off that neural aspect. And then just coming forward, just tilting from the hips. So you get that really nice specific muscle stretch in the hamstring. And then hold that for around 15 to 20 seconds. And then from the hamstring, moving on to the quad. So for the quad, just taking that foot and bringing it up into a nice stretch. And you can then move that foot into that plantar flexed position, which really stretches out the tibialis anterior at the front of the shin while you're stretching the quad on the front of the thigh. Another way to stretch the tibialis anterior, the muscle that originates at the front of the shin and crosses the ankle at the front of that ankle joint, is just to get down into this lovely position here and then you can come down and just rest your glutes on the heel and just lean back a little bit. And that really stretches out that tib ant muscle. It's a really nice way to maximize quad stretch while again working on that tib ant. Now all those previous stretches are for those extrinsic muscles that I was talking about. Muscles that originate outside the foot in the lower leg that then have tendons that go in and work to stabilize, support and allow that foot to function efficiently. Now this one is more of an intrinsic stretch plus a few extrinsic muscles get work at the same time. This is called a squat rocker. So you basically come down into a little bit of a squat and then just rock forward on that foot and then come back again. Now make sure before you do this that your toes are spread nice and wide and then just come forward and then back onto that foot. So it's a really nice way to stretch out all those muscles within the foot to really make sure that we're getting the extrinsic and intrinsic muscles stretched out. If you'd like a little bit more content on running, physiotherapy and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you on the next video.